I tell you that two weeks in this rest home will make you feel differently? Well, all right. I believe you. Only thing is, is that I don't like hospitals. I mean, the thought of going into one, it, it makes me feel creepy. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll give you a shot. Oh, no, you won't. No, no. It won't hurt. No? Put you to sleep, and you'll wake up in bed in the rest home, and everything will be fine. What do you see? No. All right. Apparently, my patient, Mr. Randolph, is in much more serious shape than I thought he was, so I'm not putting him in the rest home. He should be in a sanitarium. Now, I've made arrangements for him at the sanitarium in Waterbury. I wonder if you can make that trip. Well, it's quite a bit longer. How's the gas? We can make it. All right. Well, that's fine. Oh, I'll need your help, too. You see, he became quite violent. I had to give him a hypodermic, put him to sleep. Uh-huh. I wonder if you could help me carry him out. Sure. Glad to. Fine. This way. We can manage it, Doctor. Thank you. Now, it won't be necessary for me to go with you. I made all the arrangements by phone, so they'll be expecting you. Right. Now, I'd better warn you, he's really quite disturbed mentally. So, uh, if he should come to before you arrive, pay no attention to anything he says. Just uh, humor him. Right. You see, he has all sorts of delusions. There's no telling who he might think he is. Anyone from Napoleon to, well, almost anyone. And he can be quite convincing, too, when he's in this condition. So, as I say, uh, just uh, humor him. All right, sir, will do. By the way, how long will this flight take? Well, to Waterbury, I guess about an hour and a half. Well, it's 3 o'clock now. That would be 4.30? Yeah, just about. Fine. Well, thank you so much for your cooperation. And would you send the bill to my office? All right, Dr. Barrow, thank you. Thank you. Clear your head, Doc. You better hurry. We'll be late. All right, dear. I'll be out in a minute. 
Hello, Julian. Well, Ted, this is a surprise? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, may I come in? Certainly. Who is it, dear? Ted Randolph. Hello, Ted. Oh, hello, Ann. I heard you weren't feeling well. No, I'm fine now, thank you. Good, I'll be out in two shakes. Pour the man a drink, Julian. All right, dear. Well, to what do I owe the pleasure of this surprise visit? Well, I want to talk to you, Julian. Well, that's good, Ted. The only thing is we don't have too much time. We're going out. Well, that's very important. Well, couldn't you drop into the office no, on we'll Monday? Talk no. Uh, is there anyone else here besides Anne? No. No one. Why? Uh, well, you know, where's uh, Mrs. What's-her-name, the maid? It's your day off. Mm, uh, sit down. What? I said sit down. Ted, listen to me. No, I've done a lot of listening to you in the past, Julian, and I ended up a ruined man. Now, I think you better listen to me for a change. All right. Now what? Julian, everybody says that you are an excellent lawyer. And, uh, well, I suppose you must be to clean me out the way you have. Oh, damn. I said, listen to me, I don't have much time, about an hour to be exact. I swear I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'm going to tell you. Now, I want you to draw up a document returning everything you've stolen from me. And then... Then what? Then I'm going to kill you. He's a nice guy, that Dr. Burroughs. Yeah. Awfully tired of you know. Well, he probably works too hard. What a life, getting up in the middle of the night for every patient that has a headache. He can have the job. I'm with you. I'll stick to flying. Oh. Oh. Well, looks like we're going to have company the rest of the trip. This ought to be charming. Where am I? Where am I? Take it easy, Miss Randolph. Just out for a little ride. <laughs> Randolph. Where is he? Where's Randolph? Here it comes. Yeah. Where is Randolph? How did I get up here? Just relax, sir. Your name is Randolph. Theodore Randolph. I'm Dr. Barrows. All right, Dr. Barrows. Uh, you're Dr. Barrows. That's fine. We're taking you where every doctor should be. A nice, fine hospital. Hospital? That's right, the sanitarium at Waterbury. Listen, I tell you, I'm Dr. Barrows. Where's Randolph? You've got to find Randolph. He's going to kill somebody. Well, that's the way it goes. Somebody gets killed every day. Ted, please hmm? try to think rationally. This paper isn't going to do you any good unless you kill me. And if you kill me, what good will the money do you? You'll wind up in the gas chamber. Well, nobody's going to any gas chamber because there's not going to be any witnesses. No. Julian. What about... Ted. Now don't worry. I'm just going to kill you, Julian. Not Anne, not anybody, unless you force me to. What do you mean? I mean, get her out of the house. Now, don't try to tell her anything. Just get her out of here. It's good to see you, Ted. Well, you're looking very well, Anne. Hasn't this inhospitable husband of mine made you a drink? Oh, I don't care for one, thank you. You don't want a drink? Uh, that I don't believe. No, really, yeah. Uh... Hadn't we better be going, darling? We're going to the Martins to cocktails. Why don't you come along? I'm sure they'd love to see you. Uh, as a matter of fact, Anne, you'd better run along without me. Something has come up here. We're going to be tied up for a little while. Oh, Julian. Uh, I'll see you there. I think you're dreadful keeping him from the party. Couldn't this wait until another time? Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Anne, but I'm afraid not. You'd uh, better run along. Well, if I must, I must. I'm just a neglected wife. Will you come with Julian? Oh, thank you very much, but I don't believe I can. Thank you. You won't be too long. No, he won't be here much longer. Go on, run along now. Go on, go on. All right, I know when I'm not wanted. Goodbye, Ted. Bye, Ann. All right, finish those papers. I don't have much time. I believe you're a doctor. Well, then listen to me. Please, Mr. Randolph, all the arrangements have been made at the sanitarium. Who made the arrangements? Dr. Barrows. I tell you, I... I know, I know you're Dr. Barrows. Very well, then listen. The man, the one that pretended he was Dr. Barrows, did he say he called the sanitarium and made the arrangements? Yes, right. sir, he did. Well, I'm sure he didn't. I'm too well known to the sanitarium. They would have known he was a fake. Why don't you just... You can find out that I'm telling you the truth, that I'm Dr. Barrows. 
if you'll only get in touch with the sanitarium and see if that phone call was made. And you'll find that it wasn't. Sir, we'll be there in about 30 minutes. Do it now, please. Every minute counts. We may be too late already. If you'll just relax, please, will you contact the sanitarium? Okay, P.T., let's do it. Maybe it'll quiet the gentleman down, huh? Helicopter 38 Bravo to Longwood Field. Over. This is Longwood Field, the helicopter 38 Bravo. Hello, Helen. Do me a favor, will you? Put in a call to the Waterbury Sanitarium. Find out if Dr. Barrows made arrangements for us to deliver a patient there. Get back to me by radio and let me know what they say, okay? Will do. Out. Satisfied? Thank you. Operator. This is Longwood 47000. I'd like to talk to the Waterbury Sanitarium in Waterbury, please. Hello? Waterbury Sanitarium? This is the operator. The circuits to Waterbury are busy. Oh. I'll call you when the circuits are free. Thank you. Let's go. What do you mean? Come on. You didn't think I was going to kill you here, did you? I had not I've been here. The police would pick me up five minutes after she found you. Pick you up where, Ted? At home, of course. I don't intend to run away, Julian. I'm going to stick around and enjoy life. Who's that? I don't know. I thought you said it was her day off. It is. I didn't expect her back until tonight. Mr. Dwyer, you've just got to help me. I simply don't know what I'm going to do with that daughter of mine. I told Hazel, and I told her. If I told her once, I told her a thousand times. Hazel, I said, don't marry that man. Julian. But, uh, why, Mr. Randolph, what? this is a surprise. I thought you were sick, Mrs. Dwyer. said you were sick. You don't look well, no, you don't. You really don't. Now, perhaps it's not my place to say so, but what you need, Mr. Randolph, is a good woman to look after you. Will you turn this thing around and go back? Sure, Mr. Randolph, just as soon as... I tell you, I'm Dr. Barrow. All right, Dr. Barrow. As soon as we find out what happened with the telephone call to the sanitarium. As I told Hazel, Hazel, well, you, I... You see, Mrs. Mrs. Wagner, we really have to go. We're in a hurry. Isn't isn't that right, Julia? Uh, yes, yes, we, we um, really... Oh, well, that. just take a minute, Mr. Dwyer, because I need your advice. What am I going to do about that daughter of mine? Longwood Field, the helicopter 38 Bravo. Longwood Field, the helicopter 38 Bravo. Come in, please. There's a call now. Helicopter 38 Bravo. Come in, Longwood. Hi, Helen. What's the scoop? I talked to the sanitarium at Waterbury. They said they did not receive any call from Dr. Barrow. All right, Helen. Thanks. 38 Bravo out. Now, will you turn this thing around? BT, get back at that radio and call the Green Hill Police. And that man simply will not keep a job. I told Hazel and I told her. If I told Hazel once, I told her. Uh, Mrs. Wagner, we have to go. Come on, Julian, we have to go now. All right. Well. All right, get in. Where are we going? You just start driving, I'll let you know.
They see Julian, no gun, drowning. Suicide because of a guilty conscience. guys radioed from the helicopter, huh? Yeah, that's right. Yes. Lieutenant Waller. All right, now what's the gag? There's nobody here. Nobody except some old dame who keeps chewing my ear off about her daughter. And there sure as heck ain't no dead bodies around. What, Dr. Barrows, have you no shame? What are you talking about? A man of your age walking around in broad daylight in his pajamas. Yeah, what's with the pajamas? Oh, well, Mr. Randolph knocked me out and put these things on me. Yeah. Ma'am, do you know Mr. Randolph? I certainly do. Now, it may not be my place to say so, but I don't approve of the way that young man lives. Why, the way... Was he here today? Yes, he was here. He went away with uh, Mr. Dwyer. Where'd he go? Well, how should I know? You certainly don't think that I asked where they were going, I hope. I know my place. Is there a Mrs. Dwyer? Well, of course there is. She called for Mrs. Martins to find out why Mr. Dwyer hadn't arrived. When he left a half an hour ago, he should be there by now. Men for you. No consideration, I know. Now, my daughter Hazel's husband, he's just like that, and he just... Oh, dear. Well, if it isn't one thing, it's another. Look, I don't know what's going on around here, but I don't make any police business out of it. There's a man being murdered. Who said so? I tell you that Mr. Randolph... That was Mr. Randolph on the phone, and he asked to speak to Mr. Dwyer, but I told him that you were here. Now, it may not Some be... Some murderer. Husband. What's he trying to do? Shoot his victim over the telephone? Ted, where are you? I'm just, uh, spending a quiet afternoon at home. Where's Julian? Julian? Well, I don't know. Maybe he's still at that cocktail party at the Martin. Listen, Ted, I've got to see you. I'm coming over. Oh, do you have to, Doctor? I mean, I don't uh, feel like having company right now. I'll be right over. Well, just uh, call me if there's anything else I can do for you. Uh, no, I have a better idea. Don't call me. Listen, Lieutenant, that man already may have murdered somebody. May is not good enough. I have to have evidence. How about a kidnapping charge, Lieutenant? After all, he did more or less kidnap Dr. Barrows. You want to prefer charges? Yes, if that's the only way I can get you to come along. Well, all right, but I still got no reason to believe a crime has been committed. kidnapping charges against this man or not? No, I just want to find where Julian Dwyer is. Well, I got work to do. Find me back to my car, huh? How was it at the beach? I wasn't at the beach. No? How come you got sand on the bottom of your shoe?
Ultra. I don't see anything. Louise, just watch the Louise. Set her down, Chuck. Right there, quick. 